What's up guys, happy Monday. Who else is feeling freaking amazing on this Monday? And I feel amazing because I feel so much lighter. I have done an intense clearing, an intense looking directly at all my things. And what it's done is freed up a lot of emotional, mental energy. So I recommend it. But I wanna share something with you because, you know, I work with people in a few different ways, right? Around business, around relationships, really in them just stepping in and saying, I'm ready to fully step up and shine. But I wanna talk about the two things that are going to really push you ahead or act as a barrier. So we're gonna discuss. The other thing can we just discuss, I, I shared this on my Instagram story, but I'm, I'm obsessed with this little teacup. I keep drinking all of my stuff out of it. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Sachiko. So, hi, Gabriella. So guys, courage and discipline. Here's what, I, here's what I know. Each of us is truly coded for what we are meant to do, right? We're coded for it. We don't have to go chasing it. We don't have to go looking towards people who are not seeing our shine or not willing to see our shine. We don't have to go improve ourselves to anyone. These are things that we just simply do not have to do. I would recommend stop doing them ASAP, right? But there are some things that we've gotta do. There's things that we have to surrender to if we are stepping up fully and saying, I am ready and willing to shine. Here's what I know, that right now, each of us has access to what we all have access to, right? There's some uncomfortable calls you could make. There's some uncomfortable you know, introductions you could ask for. There's some steps in your business you could do. There's some things that you could do to so-called like advance yourself, right? And what that's going to require is courage and discipline. Right? Now, why do we need courage? What the hell does courage have to do with this? Well, you have to have the courage to stop looking at everyone else and think they have something you don't have because that is not serving you, right? Looking out into the world and seeing other people and feeling like there's something they have that I don't have, right? That is so detrimental. It is not serving you. Just stop that now. You have to have the courage to say, I have just as much. I am capable, I am able, right here, right now. I'm able to do this. So Jessica says, I feel like there's always more we could do, always. There is, there's an infinite amount, but look, here's the, here's the discernment here. Because there's so many things you could do, especially in your business, where it's like how many paths? You could go down the path of creating more funnels. You could go down the path of creating a course. You could go down the path of writing a book. You could go down the path of having live events. There's so many paths, you're not meant to do all of them. But here's where it takes the discipline, and this is why discipline is a key ingredient here, and I'm gonna go deeper into discipline, but discipline is you sitting your ass down and saying, self, we are going to be really still because I know you have information for me. I know you have information for me that no other human can give me because no other human is me, right? So even with me, with my clients, I'm not telling them like the, this is the, the way and the only way. I don't ever do that. That's not what my work is about. My work is about opening you up to understanding your channels and listening and trusting because it takes discipline and courage to trust yourself. Now, why does it take discipline and courage to trust yourself? Number one, we've been taught not to trust ourselves. We've been taught everywhere throughout our lives not to trust ourselves. You have an impulse as a child and you're corrected and reprimanded for doing and acting on it. You have a dream, you have a vision and you're shut down. You have times where you wanna show up and shine, but then you're kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of rejected in ways or you're not fully received because maybe you're spending time with people who are uncomfortable with your shine. So we're, we learn not to trust ourselves. We learn to shrink and hide along our path. And it takes tremendous courage to say, what I feel is accurate. What I feel is good for me. What I feel, although I don't know how it's going to unfold, is for me. Can I have the discipline to do the actions day by day by day? Now, I have to tell you guys this, when I was starting my business, 
I looked like a fool. I looked crazy. I left my other business, which was a commissions-based sales business, and I left it and it was working. So there were people that were like, why would you leave that? You don't have a college education. Why would you leave that? You're gonna inspire people on the internet. People are thinking I'm nuts. And then I'm showing up, but you see the reason I had the courage and the discipline is because I had the vision long term and I knew. I didn't know how it was gonna turn out, but what I knew was that I was meant to do this. I didn't know what the, the path would exactly look like, but I knew that I had to keep walking towards that light, walking towards that way. So for some of you, you've got to be clear on like, A, am I showing up in my lane ready to walk it? Because for some of you, you, you have some hints, there's signals that you're supposed to walk down a path, but you're like, mm, not yet, not ready, doesn't feel good yet. Also, I want to share this, that worthiness is key here because check it out i was watching a movie last night if you guys have seen this movie if you have not seen this movie yet please do yourself a favor and watch it i don't watch a lot of movies i like to watch movies when there's lessons in them and they're like open me up a little bit and i was crying happy tears in this movie but this movie dumpling right it was about this little girl and it was about teenage girls really and here's the deal that she was going through life and she was feeling like and she was made to feel this way, that she was too big, that big girls can't have the same opportunities as slimmer girls, that she wasn't lovable, and there was a guy that really liked her. And she, when he came to her and wanted to be with her, she pushed him away. Because she said, you, girls like you, or guys like you don't like girls like me. But he did. For some of you guys, your destiny, your money, your relationships, your people are making themselves available to you because they're always available, they're here, and you are just shunning it away like, I'm not ready, I'm not good enough, why me? They're more deserving, and you don't even realize you're doing it, right? And Marcella just says, good for you, you got clear vision. We all have vision. Whether you have the discipline to be with it or not, for me, I have a lot of discipline for listening and watching and obeying. I feel like God is speaking to all of us. You want to call it universe, you want to call it intuition, you want to call it your angels, whatever you want to call it. There's invisible parts of us, parts of life that we can't fully see that are guiding us, right? Always. Now, our discipline comes in when we decide that I'm going to take my focus from the outside world and I'm gonna bring it in here. Because in here, there's a whole other universe and there's all this access to other things. Now, if you feel like I wanna do that, but I don't have the discipline to do it myself, that's when you hire a mentor. That's when you hire someone to help you go deeper. We also have blind spots and we have parts on our journey where it begins to get uncomfortable. We wanna, we wanna get off at a rest stop. We're like, okay, here's my path. I know that I'm supposed to be walking this path. I see the destination, but it's gotten a little bit uncomfortable. I got some haters. I got some discomfort. Uh, I feel a little scared. I feel a little uncomfortable asking for sales. I feel a little uncomfortable making these videos. I don't think I should even be making these videos. There's these things that come up and we all have our different thresholds for where we check out and tap out. So you gotta look and see like, where, where am I tapping out at? And you gotta be able to get uncomfortable. Now, here's what I shared yesterday when um, I did my daily shift on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I've been liking to play on Instagram a lot more lately, so let's meet you over there. But it says, you'll know your path because it feels like peace, right? To me, this is a very spiritual way of just connecting with ourselves and understanding that while there are infinite roads we can take or infinite ways that we can you know, work and live on this planet, that there's a way that's just for you. There's a way that's just for you. Now, when I say it's going to feel like peace, it doesn't mean it's going to be challenge free. Expect the challenges because that's how we grow. We grow in the challenges. Life becomes easier though, more graceful, when we're A, anticipating that challenges are gonna show up, but we can move through them because we have the power, we have the presence when we are choosing to be present, that we have what we need to get through the challenges. And on the other side, we're gonna recognize a new part of us. Something will be revealed. 
Something happens when we stop trying to shortcut everything, trying to make it easier, trying to look for ways to go around something because that's not really what we're here to do. Somebody called me. We're here to look at what's coming our way and ask, what can I do in this? How can I grow through this? It's supposed to feel challenging and freaky and all these things. So every year I'm looking at how can I really challenge myself? You know, the year before last, 2017, my thing was, I want my business to work, right? I was in business for a year. It wasn't working. It was making little progress, but I saw the bit bigger vision. I knew it was gonna work, but I was ready for it to really work. And I wanted to hit six figures. And of course I went into not even just 100,000, but into 200,000. So I was like, yes, I did that. The next year I was like, I want my book to come out and have it be a bestseller. And not a bestseller where I have to give it away for free or do a 99 cent thing. Like I wanna sell my book full price and I still wanna become a bestseller. And I did. And we did some other things. I did a book tour, which if you guys were following me back then, it scared the heck, they scared me so much doing a book tour. I was like, who am I to have a book tour? Like who the hell is gonna come to it? All of those narratives and things I talk about with you guys, it visits us at every stage of something new right so when we anticipate that and we know that's the case we have to call on that courage and that discipline to a stay the course to nurture ourselves the way we need to nurture ourselves to keep on walking and to walk with our heads held high and to ask why not me that takes courage to ask that why not me oh they're making that much money okay great why not me they get to do these things, why not me? Their relationships are healthy and thriving, why not me? Usually why it's not you is because you're choosing for it to not be you. And you would say, well, no, I'm not choosing to be like financially struggling or I'm not choosing to be in this relationship. It's them. It's my lack of clients. It's the lack of this. Bullshit. Let's just, let's just come home to that. It's not true. It's not true. The lack of anything is the lack of you recognizing that it's all here for you now. And there's something that's been making its way into your awareness and it's tapping you on the shoulder and it's saying, hey, you know you could try that. Hey, you know this isn't serving you. Hey, why don't you go do that thing? And you may just be like, I don't feel like it. Not now, I'm not ready, it's Christmas time. Blah, 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 blah. These are all you standing in your way. So what you're essentially saying is, I don't deserve it now. You are blocking you from you. You are your biggest blessing blocker. No one else can block your blessings. One thing I know, I don't care how many haters you have, I don't care how many people are intimidated by your shine, no one else is going to stop you but you. It's you getting up at those pit stops and deciding that you're not getting back on the freeway. What I'm asking you to do today, it's Monday, check back in. Check back in fully and ask yourself, am I playing at 100, right? If you guys were watching my Instagram stories this weekend, I did some crazy stuff, which for me, it felt crazy because I decided that I want to, instead of just trying to make X amount of dollars, I want to save and invest X amount of dollars into real estate. And I was like, you know, I got to change my mindset around this because I've been just in this space of making more money and doing this with my money. When I say investing, not this time, not investing in my growth, of course I'm doing that, but I'm, I'm advancing, right? Into investing now into physical things. So that being said, I was like, I gotta change some of the ways I start thinking. So I started just immersing myself all weekend. And because I did my diet changes earlier this month where I shared with you guys that I did no alcohol and I'm doing um, vegan until the end of the year, because I was making these choices, I had this next level of like cellular clarity and tapping, which happens when we change our diet. Our biochemistry totally shifts, everything changes. So all of this has been happening, space is being made, I'm listening, I'm hearing clearly, and then I hear about these, these changes I need to make with my money. Then it leads me into totally taking like the lid off of my business and dissecting everything on like how my business is running, what every part of my team is doing. I have four people supporting my business in different ways right now. And I started uncovering all these things. And what I realized is it took courage and discipline to do that because I had to be willing to face whatever was there, but then also take action on it. 
some of you guys are not dissecting your relationships, not dissecting the way you eat, the way you move, the way you, your business is running, the way your, you know, your, the way that your finances are running, because you know that if you see it, you have to take action and you don't have the courage to take the damn action. Or maybe you don't believe in yourself that if you actually sat down with this, that you would have the discipline to keep it going. But that's where we tap back into the courage. Now, all of this is spiritual stamina, which I feel like is the, the ability to take a deep breath and keep on going. Take a deep breath, say a prayer, ask for guidance, and keep on going. It can take us so much more further than any human barking in our ear. And sometimes you need a human barking in your ear to help you develop this stamina. But once you have it, it's like, it's like you're connected to your true source, right? And you learn that there's parts of you that you can always tap into, that you can always ask questions of it. Now, if something just seems like it's not working for years and years and years, and you're not getting the excitement, the peace, all the things that you need, whatever it is that you need, you gotta get clear on what you need, then you gotta ask like, why am I really doing this? Is this my plan or is this God's plan, right? And what we'll find, and I know what I found for myself is that God's plan, it's bigger, it's bolder, there's so much for you here, but you've got to be willing to listen. So guys, I'm going to leave this Monday inspiration, motivation, whatever you want to have it here. A few things I want to share is that A, I'm open to two more private clients for mentorship. So if you're someone that's like, I'm ready to just get the hell out of my way, but you're also ready to make a big commitment. I mean, this is a big commitment. I'm not just talking about the financial commitment because that's relative. To some people, it will be very small. To some people, it will be unattainable. I'm talking about a big energetic commitment, a commitment that I am willing to get out of my way. I'm willing to look at all the things. I'm willing to be honest. I'm willing to let go. If you're willing to do that, then it, I think you should message me and we can discuss it. It's something I'm not gonna say that you should be afraid of it, right? I am a tough love kind of coach, but I'm also a big lover, meaning that I'm guiding you back home to fully accepting and loving yourself in con unconditionally so that you have the courage and the power to move through these things. Because if we're beating ourselves up along the way, we're never gonna get to where we need to go because we're always looking at what we're lacking or what we're missing. I'm guiding from this place, and this is where I lead myself from, and I'm, I'm reminding you guys on this Monday, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. So there's nothing wrong with you now. There's nothing wrong with you yesterday. There's nothing gonna be wrong with you tomorrow. We are all humans doing our best navigating this earthly plane, right? There's so much information. We are sensitive by nature, especially when we start letting go of our vices. You let go of the alcohol, you let go of all the sugar and all the things. You stop watching all the TV. You understand how sensitive you've been this whole time and that you've had to numb yourself to manage and to cope. So as we let down all of this and we start to become more sensitive to our sixth sense and start to hear and obey more, we start feeling other people, we start feeling the intentions of other people, we start feeling like the activations of our own intentions and it's kind of freaky at first. But there's so much power there to not tap into that in this lifetime, to not choose it, to choose to look the other way is ultimately choosing to stay in suffering because there's gonna be a part of you that is going to nag you in some way, shape or form to listen and to wake up. And whether that shows up with depression, that shows up with anxiety, that shows up in relationships that are failing, whatever that shows up as is some sort of disease or something, it's recognizing that there's communication here. It's always happening. Chris says you shed light on the BS with love. Yes, it's always coming from love, but I understand that we also need the shake up sometimes, right? Like we, if we just keep going in our sleeping states of what has been, we forget like there's so much here for us. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Another thing that I'm gonna share is that Harmonious Hustle Live, my LA event is coming up and it's going to be two days and guys, it's gonna be really powerful. I don't know about speakers yet, if I'm gonna do really speakers, but I have healers coming. We're doing like really incredible sound bath. We're doing all sorts, the first day is all healing. So if I think about what I could do for the most ultimate day of just surrendering and listening and feeling, that's what day is. Day one, that's what day is. That's what day one is. It's all about the harmony, it's harmonized. 
Day two is all about the hustle, but if you guys know me, my hustle isn't like regular people's hustles. It's listening, it's obeying, it's then walking, and then it's checking in and all these things. So we're gonna be talking about worthiness, wealth consciousness. We're gonna be talking about mindfulness and showing up in your shine, courage, discipline, these kind of things. So you're going to want to be there and there's going to be advanced purchase pricing up until I think we put it for the third or fourth. So it's gonna be about $100 less. And these tickets are not a lot of money. I'm doing it as my first event. It's gonna be a really beautiful event at a beautiful hotel. But I don't, I just want it to be a really impactful first event where we just really have the most profound experience. And I wanna keep it priced that way. The other thing I want you to be mindful of is there's 10, only 10 VIP experiences. And that's going to be for the day before the event. We're gonna to go to the peninsula in Beverly Hills because you guys know I like all the little luxurious things. And it puts us in a state of receptivity and worthiness and enjoyment and pleasure. And we're gonna sit there and get clear on our intentions for the weekend and sort of mastermind and connect in a deeper way. And then everyone that's part of those 10 spaces is also going to be in like the first row for the whole weekend. So, and you're gonna have like a special sisterhood with the 10 women that do that because we're getting together on the Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, you'll be sitting in the front with them. It's just gonna be a good experience. And guys, it's like $477 in the advanced price. It's not a lot. And if you've ever been to Tea at the Peninsula with Tip, it's like $110. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be a really beautiful experience. So I just can't wait for all of that. And I'm excited. And we have until May for that, but it's gonna be fun. So guys, I hope to see you there. If you are not a part of Harmonious Shift yet, my meditation community, join it. It's $33 a month and we did, we did a meditation a day. I've been having the two best Mondays and we've been meditating together. So get in that. The 27th is my unworthiness uh, grieving ceremony where I'm gonna be guiding everyone through a grieving process. And right now I have two more spaces for private mentorship left. And here's the deal. If you like my groups, if you like my Facebook lives, private mentorship is like totally next level because it's all about you. But it also means there's no hiding. So if you're someone that likes to come into my group stuff and kind of hide under the radar, this isn't for you because I'll be calling you out and I'll be asking you to grow and I'll be showing you all your shit and then we'll be you know, moving through it. But on the other side, you will be a totally different person. <laughs> so you decide. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm sending you love. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to hop on here on the Prophets on Purpose pod. We have two more weeks over there, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Share this with someone who needs it.